All right, guys. I'm going to put my face right on the top left corner now. And let's dive into episode 16 because Arena is bugged to hell. Here we go. When the sun is gone and darkness shrouds the world, the moonlight begins its story. When the sea and sky are united by the color of night, the dream sprawls its wings to travel freely across its wondrous, limitless realm. And the wizards, the sages of the night. <laughs> One of the reasons I adore the city so, there were times when all stars here bore a name of their own. Grand bookshelves in the libraries, Observatory spired in the night sky, paralleled in height only by the wizard's knowledge and wisdom. Cookies created by the wizards gained a shining purpose to serve their creators as aids in the search of truth. Okay. Yet, all is now nothing more than echoes of the past. When I close my eyes, my memories take me to a time when I wasn't alone. And those long gone are back as though they have never left. Is this but a dream? Or am I awake now? Will they return if I wait long enough? My name is Moonlight Cookie, the custodian of the city of wizards. She said that entire line with her eyes closed. When will she even open her eyes? Oh, there she is. <laughs> the moment I said it, she actually opened her eyes. Are you too an apparition of my dreams? Or perhaps? And there it is, episode 16. This place is precisely not a single cookie in sight. The whole place is running on magical contraptions. The great magical civilization and all the wizards, poof, gone. They call it one of the seven mysteries of Earthbread. Okay. We finally arrived at the legendary city of wizards. Yay! Who would have known we'd have to get kicked out of a train for that? I like the train. It brought us all the way here. Right. Remind me to thank Milky Way Cookie if we ever see her. <laughs> He was just so, so mad about it. Here. Is that because the whole city is so empty? And then he's like, oh yeah, let me just thank her uh, after a harsh. Magic, yeah. This place was chosen by the wizards because this is where the moon is the biggest, meaning that its arcane powers are the strongest here. It took several dozens of mathematicians to calculate this sweet spot, but thanks to their efforts, we can read at night without the need for any candles or lights. Whoa, does it mean that even the starry sky is a part of this place? And that also means that you cannot sleep because there's light everywhere, every single time. The city of wizards is even cooler than I thought. I don't think it's going to be that hard, though. Following us for a while. Reminds me of episode nine. Become friends. They are the wizards' inventions crafted to resemble the stars. To them, we are trespassers. Better be on our guard. They're after us. Out of my way. I cannot. I will not falter. Dang, that's a lot of injury. But pure vanilla absolutely just destroys that injury. That is a lot of injury, though, for sure. That in that's a lot of injury. Wow. The doors are closing. But again, pure vanilla solves that problem. So now it's even a better idea to choose pure vanilla if you haven't chosen pure vanilla within the hall or the might of ancient heroes or the might of ancient mm, we don't have anything to prove that if only we could meet moonlight cookie first right we must hurry up and find moonlight cookie yeah no duh my my would you look at this sight do you see anything come up here you can see the whole 
whole city from this hill. Whoa. I can't believe there's no one left in this place. If it were up to me, I'd call it the city of night sky. Mm. Wow. If it were up to me, the city of the crescent. Look, all the way over there. The statues we passed on our way here. Is that where we took the train? Seems so. But how do we manage to cross the dream to get here? Wait a minute. We were walking in circles around the statues, then we, um, ended up at the train station? The more you think about it, the weirder it gets. Perhaps that's the nature of the dream. The power of the slumbering moon makes it all possible. After all, Moonlight Cookie is the master of dream magic. Mm -hmm. Over there, Moonlight Cookie! She's asleep. I almost hate to wake her up. The moon is so bright and pretty. Why does she look so sad? She must feel so lonely watching over the city all by herself. Think how long she must have been waiting for us. Well, not that long, if you think of it. Yeah. After all, she must have lived for much, much longer than us. But... And it is said that while Moonlight Cookie is asleep, no force can harm the realm of dreams. Her power is way too great for an ordinary cookie. And that's why we need her help. Mm -hmm. But Moonlight Cookie herself asked for our help. There's got to be something we can do for her. Though, how do we wake her up? Hmm. There have got to be hints somewhere in this great city. Looks like we have our mission. By my hat! Not even in my wildest dreams did I imagine visiting the arcane planetarium. Plan... Planetarium? Uh huh. An artificially crafted model of the night sky. The wizards did love their stars, huh? Crafted night sky? What does this even mean? You'll understand once you see it with your own eyes. Let's hurry and get inside. Oh, wait up! These stairs are too tall. Okay, so they climbed this stair up. Although they came from the left side. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Whoa! <laughs> I don't even know the words to describe this. A sky within the city. And there's giant balls floating in that sky. They look like they'll crash into each other, but they don't. What in the world? Mm. And those giant balls represent stars in the sky. While they might look like tiny dots to us, they actually look like that. Or so they say. These stars are created to look exactly like the real ones. And it's all powered with intricate magic spells. And just like trains, each star in the sky travels along its very own invisible road. That's why they never crash into each other. How yes. do you know mm -hmm. all that? Mm -hmm. Well, I've read about it in my books. But enough talk. I am super psyched to see it with my own eyes. I could try and make one sphere. Wizard, Wizard Cookie is definitely not okay within the last two episodes, man. It is said that wizards and stars always go hand in hand. Here, you understand why. The wizards of old were crazy about the sky. Do you know which star is my favorite? The star called Chaco Major, over there, that always shines so bright. Gorgeous, isn't it? Wow, it really is big and bright. And what are these pictures here? These are called constellations. Have you ever noticed how some groups of stars look just like animals mm, or objects? Yes, constellation. Oh, this one is just. Oh, this is the this, is the, this our our moonlight cookie uh the uh, uh, event quest there one. There is Sugar Swan Sun. Oh, so pretty. I love this place. Look, another cinema. Let's climb on that chair and watch the movie. For eons, the wizards and witches relied upon the powers of the moon. 
an everlasting source of arcane energy. But what oh, some theorists I claim a little the moon bit. is constituted of cheese. Others speculate that the connection with the enigmatic rabbit was finally established. Here, in the city of wizards, we step beyond tenets and theories to reveal the true potential of lunar magic. We bake cookies. We bake cookies. <laughs> Nothing is impossible in the realm of dreams. It is a well-known fact. Ergo, at the intersection of the night, the moon, and the dream, magic unbound by all limits is born. The twelve archmages' work has finally borne fruit. Now, the pristine life syrup and the dough of the dreams shall rest and dream until dawn, absorbing the mysterious lights of the night sky. The whole world stands still. In anticipation of the first cookie blessed with ingredients of celestial bodies. Will the world of dreams at long last reveal its secrets? The only being capable of providing an answer is the moon reborn in the form of a cookie. You shall journey through the world we dare not explore. Now, the time to open your eyes has come. Okay. World of dreams? Very interesting. Does this mean a cookie like me can travel inside Ginger Brave's head? Why is the first thing that he thinks about is traveling inside of Ginger Brave's head? Huh? Whoa. We could meet and play there. But are dreams meant to be shared? What if the wizard cookie from my dreams isn't the real wizard cookie? Oh, I think I'm getting a headache. I wonder what happened to that cookie. Yeah, we'll probably find out soon enough. Oh, I guess you can use Freeze Calm too. Anything that just prevents the uh, mouse from using her, the shield. You will regret this. As long as you have something like that. True strength comes I guess from it doesn't balance. matter. But without it, I don't think you could beat it. That thing just regenerates shield like insane. Or, yeah, you can use the uh, paper charm too, I guess. Yep, Twizzly is another option. You just get rid of the shield with Zap. It's fine too. You can also use Crunchy too. Crunchy will get rid of the shield too. Okay, what is this? What is, what's happening? What is that column of light? Another magical spell? Uh, maybe it's a big gemstone, or or a glowing fountain. I I want to get closer. It's just as bright as the light of the moon. I feel like I need to move closer. Let's go. Oh, are we going towards this right here? What are we going towards? Oh, 1615. Okay. It's a sugar glass house. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, there is the uh, sugar glass cookie then. See? The gentle moonlight is lighting up the whole place. I vaguely remember reading about it. It's, it's, it's the remembrance glass. The wizards knew how to imbue stained sugar glass with memories. Perhaps this is the place where it happened. I thought it was a place bigger than this one. Hold on. These paintings. Is this the city of wizards? Then this one must be Moonlight Cookie herself. Whoa. Look at those colorful glass flowers. Let's go take a closer look. Oh. Wielding the oh, more of moon stuff. Energy. We can finally leave the days when we used to brew love. Oh, these are the lost. wizards. With it, we can light up the whole city. And more, the Lunar Dynamo will allow us to cook food, move carts, and power clock towers without even touching them. Solar power is too unpredictable, too unstable. 
It burns and corrupts the cookie dough. The power of the dreaming moon, however... There's no way this is supposed to be a wizard, right? Whoa! I've just experienced a rush of someone's memories. A wizard's thoughts and memories. Let's see what recollections these flowers hold. Out of my way! I cannot we hold back! I will not falter! Be gone! I will not falter. Okay, there's the extra one. Oh, what a harrowing misfortune it is to realize ours is the only star inhabited by thinking creatures such as ourselves. Among all the stars in the vast cosmos. The sun. Is this supposed to be a wizard or what? Lava, the moon colder than the coldest ice. The power of the stars is greater than that of an arch wizard, for the stars are the fount of the arcane. Welcome to this world, Moonlight Cookie. You are the blessing uh, granted by the stars to us. This is the creation of Moonlight Cookie. This is Moonlight Cookie's memory. The cookie that the wizards created was Moonlight Cookie herself. Shh, 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 be quiet. Your powers will become the bridge to connect us to the realm of the unknown. Will you help us in our research of lunar power? These are the materials brought by Moonlight Cookie from the world of dreams. Now we will finally be able to correct the mistakes in our magical formulas. The Cookie managed to identify the laws of celestial mechanics with utmost precision. It will allow us to build a great planetarium in the sky above our city. Let us build a great clock tower to control the very movements of the stars and the flow of time. Just like the great world tree from the myths, our clock tower will become the pillar to bind our city together even after the last of the wizards is gone. Did you hear that? A clock tower to control the mm -hmm. flow of time, huh? They did talk about like that. Two sides of a coin. Moonlight Cookie and the Clock Tower will draw upon each other's power. The full moon will rise, the bell will ring, and the dream will come alive. Another piece of this puzzle falls into place. Perhaps the Clock Tower can awaken Moonlight Cookie. We still need to gather more clues. Let's check over there. Ah, huh. That watering can. And the shovel. They were crafted for a cookie to handle. Looks like a cookie used to take care of this conservatorium. Sugar hey, glass. This pot has just one flower growing in it. It's small, but so pretty and ornate. Gotta be someone's special memory. Can I take a look? Hey, hey, we gotta hurry. Wait. I have uh, one last thing left to do. There she is. Greetings. My name is Sugar Glass Cookie. If you touch this memory, it means... It means that you have found my flower. I must leave this place. Yet, when the other cookie arrives... I'd like you to know that I have waited for so long. That you are not alone. Her voice definitely fits. How did fits. They to take care of this beautiful place all by themselves? Let's take this flower with us. Something tells me that Moonlight Cookie will like it. What a place! Greenhouse made of memories. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I'd have never believed it. I've been thinking. If we live on a giant star, and there are other stars like this one, lots, lots of other stars, it's kind of terrifying, don't you think? What if we cookies mm -hmm. are no more than part of someone's imagination? <laughs> Yikes! Sad thing is, wizard, you actually are. What are you saying? <laughs> so. It's not easy being that smart. Mm. We learned so much back at the planetarium and greenhouse, but we still have no clue how to wake Moonlight Cookie up. We are close, very close. I'm sure of it. Our next stop should be the Archives of Magic. 
That's where the wizards kept all their secrets. Whoa, I wonder what awaits us inside. A book about a whole planet made of jellies? Or, or about cookies from outer space? A recipe for the potion of sweet dreams? I love your ideas. But what I'd really like to find is the spell to travel through time. Does that have anything to do with stars? I don't know. It's just a mere theory of mine. But I think if we run so fast that even the light itself won't be able to catch up with us, then we'll be able to make time flow in the opposite direction. Is that even possible? <laughs> You've been saying lots of odd things today, Wizard Cookie. Uh huh. Who knows? Who knows? Anywho, let's make haste. Those golden stars. Yes. Again. Please Hi. stop talking nonsense. The name is Roaming Star 12C. <laughs> it's a rambling star VI7. Oh, they're gonna find us. Quick, come this way. Gingerbread, wait, it's a dead end. Huh? Ah! Ah! Brave, Wizard Cookie, don't go without me. Where are they going? I thought they said it's a dead end. Where can they go? Here's the boss. Gains immunity from all debuffs. Restores two percent of max HP every five seconds. Attacks one random targets with each strike. Gains a hit shield. Ah, hit shield. Okay. Deals damage to targets with a certain area. Uh, da 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 da. I'm just gonna use Milky Way for this one. It's a hit shield, so might as well. And for this one, just do this. Actually, I'll just use Rai. Well, well, well. I've got bad news for you, partner. <coughs> oh, ouch! Ouch! Oh. Not the most comfortable landing. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry about that. It's all my fault. I'm glad that we didn't split up. We have a bigger problem. This little detour took us off our path. Where on earth bread are we? Look, a sign. Yes, a sign. Silence. Do not wake the dwellers of the graveyard of stars. The graveyard of stars? This looks like a headstone. Wandering star A19 lost its orbit due to the operator's chronically shaking hands and put to sleep with its 18 siblings. Here's another one. The name's Race. Outdated formula disposed with the release of the amended version of Standard Magic. What kind of headstone is that? I mean, in the end, though, it's like they, the wizards and the witches are the same thing, I, I feel like. They just dispose of things that they they think is not good either. They created and got rid of 19 stars because some wizard's hands were shaky? You don't understand. When it comes to incantations, even the smallest miscalculation can lead to catastrophe. Can it really? Well, I also think they were a bit too harsh. Out of my way! I will not falter! Get out, you softies! <laughs> ah, four of those golden stars. That one is huge. Huge. Prepare for battle. It's called Doomstar X1. Intruder detected. Exterminate. If they get us, we're crumbs. Everyone, be careful. Dun, 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 dun. I will not falter. Uh, it died before it can even use the shield. The biggest one down. That wasn't easy at all. Uh, that was definitely easy for our team, Ginger Brave. Oh. <sighs> Ginger Brave. 
Huh? Hey. What? What? <laughs> I um I just imagined a very scary thing. And that is the wizards had to go through so many stars just to make that last giant one. What would have happened had they decided to make a ginger brave? So I imagined a graveyard filled with lots of abandoned ginger Hi, uh... Yikes! Don't you have anything better to think about? You literally have this gorgeous library in front of your eyes. Yeah, yeah. You're right as always, Riz Cookie. <laughs> Anyways, the secrets of the archives await. Let's march inside, my friends. Darkness, be gone! I will not falter! Take that, you selfies! Get out of my way! And then now there's the burn damage, zap damage. I will not falter! Should be able to get rid of the shield a lot faster than before. I will not falter! Still regenerates it. At least it's not like regenerating like crazy. Dude, look at injury on our Rai. Oh my goodness. Come on. Yeah, definitely without Pure Vanilla, it'll be so hard. Yo, yo, yo. It's like regenerating it. Alright, we're down to seven again. This, this thing's crazy. It keeps regenerating the amount of times we hit it. So, finally, we did it. <laughs> that took so long. Than a library. This one here might be the greatest library on the entire continent. It would have been a shame to miss this place. I'm ready to check each and every nook and cranny here. Wow, this library is really big. They must have books on everything in the world. Mm. Should we split up? Good idea. I'll check the picture books here. There's got to be at least one I can understand. <laughs> These are not just pictures. It's mathematics. The science trying to explain the world in numbers and figures. Mm -hmm. See, it shows how to divide an apple pie into seven equal parts. With this book, seven wizards will be able to enjoy their pie in peace. Such a lucky find. Pie but in peace. The witches books don't have anything like that. And that's where blueberry pie comes Why? into play. What's so different about them? The wizards thought that precision paves the path to the truth. They tried to communicate ideas as accurately as possible. See that shelf with lots of giant tomes and quills? That's how hard they worked to achieve the perfect preciseness. And the witches expressing themselves through songs and dancing. I think there's books on various magical appliances here. Look, this one explains how to make the best magic wand. Use measuring tape. Measure length from elbow to third finger second knuckle. Important. The wood must be. Do you really need to know all that? <laughs> oh, those are just the basics every wizard needs to know. You won't become a wizard with that attitude of yours, Ginger Brave. Maybe you should try singing. But Ginger Brave is not a wizard. I've never said I wanted to become a wizard. I'm not a wizard. I'm a cookie. Still hearts. So you fell in love with an emotionless cookie. Uh, drawing without errors. Perfect magic circles. 27 ways to grow taller. <laughs> huh. 27 ways to grow taller? Say what? What was that last one? Ah! It, it moved. First time seeing moving letters. <laughs> Ancient wizards used to make letters move quite often. No, not the letters. It's a bookworm. Ah, and, and it bites. <laughs> Let us tend to the wounded first. Her laser cannot be activated within world expiration. Again, guys, because of the fact that she can't use her skill. The way she needs to. Well, it must have eaten a lot of magic energy. Let's just be more careful with those books. 
Whew. This magic library is a dangerous place. Huh? What's that? That book looks important. The Lunar Compendium, huh? Straight to the point. That's precisely what we needed. Okay. Treat the book oh, with care. there she is. Ah! Who are you? Blueberry Pie Cookie, librarian. And you are? Okay, finally we meet Blueberry Pie. Halfway through of uh, episode 16. And you are? These archives have been abandoned for a long, long time. We came on a dream train in search of Moonlight Cookie. Then you are her guest. Hmm. We didn't realize there were other cookies in the city. The entire city of wizards looked completely empty. Are you a prisoner here? The wizard prisoner? A prisoner? That's the conclusion she comes up with? Yeah. She just says she's a librarian. No, I'm not a prisoner. I merely signed a pact. My duty is to sort the books. Keep them in order and keep a watchful eye on everything happening within these walls. Such work requires a lot of time. Don't you ever wish you could do something else? Take a walk outside, for example. I'm not too fond of all the air and sunlight. Besides, the knowledge preserved here knows no bounds. This one, for example, the Lunar Compendium. A tome of great value. It was written okay. a century before the great clock tower was built. All written records of that era remain intact to this day. <laughs> As you may have guessed, <laughs> they are all contained in this very book. Yet, I would advise against opening it. The book is known to test cookies who dare read it okay for such is the will of the clock tower protecting this city but we've come all this way here we're ready for any test this book might dish out it seems that i underestimated you you possess great wisdom and courage the lunar compendium has deemed you worthy deemed you worthy information inside just listen the wizards actually managed to build it the clock tower to control the night sky this tower doesn't simply show the time it controls time in this city okay more, it also controls the position of the sun the moon and the constellations that must be the magical clock we saw in moonlight cookies memories which means we have to climb the tower and move the clock's hands. That must be it. That should wake Moonlight Cookie. If only the moon was full tonight. Gingerbread, you're right. That must be the answer. The book says that the hands cannot be moved by just anyone, but there is a way to do that. And? It looks like we have to solve a riddle. A riddle. I'm going to read it. Three wizards cut the pie of time. Three pieces, fair and just. A piece of sun, a piece of moon, okay. a piece for all the stars. And soon the reel of stars turned thrice. Crescent met its half. Let Chaco Major guide your way. The moonlight feet will start. Seems like it was already set for them, huh? Three wizards. And then now it's three cookies we have. Down. Uh, sun, moon, uh, come again? Wh what kind of riddle is that? I didn't understand a thing. Maybe the lizards want to test us. In order to use the clock tower, you have to be this smart. Phew. <laughs> we can do it. We can. Thank you, Blueberry Pie Cookie. With your help, we'll find a way to wake Moonlight Cookie. Oh, or maybe you want to go meet Moonlight Cookie with us? Lady Moonlight Cookie. 
Who would have known we were destined to become the last cookies to guard this place? I remember the times of old. The wizards would select the dough imbued with the finest, purest moonlight and create cookies to preserve their knowledge forever. I am forbidden to leave this place. And I dare not ask for an audience with Lady Moonlight Cookie. Sometimes mm -hmm. I see a faint ray of moonlight coming through this small window. For me, that ray of light is... Mm. Farewell. Goodbye! Mm. He says goodbye so casually. Goodbye! Is something I failed to mention. A collection of personal notes left by the same author has been kept here in the library. This journal describes the dark, unknown parts of the wizard's research. It has been kept in the shadows of the most remote section away from prying eyes. Will it ever see the light of day? I wonder? There has to be the, the notes about the, uh, the boss, right? Now, may the gentle moonlight embrace this city. Oh, more story. Goodness gracious, so many story. Oh, never mind. Welcome, I've been expecting you. You're looking at the archives of magic, the oldest library of this land. As long as you know what is to look for and where, you can find the truth behind almost all the secrets of this world. Hmm. You seek a book on the city of wizards and the creation of the cookies. The knowledge that you seek lies within these walls. Feel free to look around. You may read whichever book that uh, piques your interest. Just, rem just remember, one's actions bring consequences. Now then, enjoy your stay in the archives. Oh, I can do this. Ah, I'll do it later. Oh, it's a wizard doll. Let the night sky guide your way. Whoa. Astrologist Knight. The the uh, they have Soul Jam. Something that looks like Soul Jam. Why did the wizards but there's no blue one, so right? Tell us more about the trials. Heed my question. An ingredient of great value is required. Oh, it's pure vanilla is blue. Wand that will reveal the cookie wizard's true potential. What is it? Easy peasy. It's a sugar crystal, of course. Wizard, you have acquired my permission to enter the clock tower. <laughs> How do you like that? Well done, wizard cookie. Given it is blue? Okay. See, this is hollow berries. Fiery star has risen in the sky west from here. Oh, are you asking me? Uh, um, Moonlight Cookie herself pleaded for help. Maybe a danger is growing closer. You may proceed, seeker of the moon, but beware of what lies. Ahead. Oh, I must have guessed right. <laughs> Looks like the last test is for me. I'm the brave one here, right? Ooh, ooh, what will it be? I shall test your courage. To arms! I was afraid it would come to violence. Never a dull moment! Who goes there? Clockwork doll. We came to wake Moonlight Cookie. And we must turn the clock's hands. Can you let us pass? The clocks show the correct time. Perfectly correct. Cookies must be. Cookies are strong. We are defeated. <laughs> I like how they have to announce it. Oh, I lost. Oh my gosh. Wizard Cookie, we'll take it from here. 
You go upstairs and solve the riddle. I can do that. And there is the clock. All right, I'm in the clock chamber. Cut the pie of time, three pieces fair and just. Okay, we already saw this one. Aha! There are pictures of the sun, the moon, and the stars at the ends of those three clock heads. You might be right, but what do they have to do with pies? Uh, hmm. The pie of time. Pies are usually round, right? What if the pie mm. is the face of the clock itself? Good thinking, Strawberry Cookie. I'll try to divide it into three parts. A gingerbread, don't forget. You always cut the biggest piece for yourself. The riddle says that the parts must be fair, equal. Let me try. There are 12 numbers. Divide by three, four numbers per wizard. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's move the sun hand to 12, the moon to four, and the star to eight. See? Perfectly equal. Whoa, good job, Wizard Cookie. From now on, I'll let you cut all our pies. Now, the reel of stars. Turn thrice. Stars. Hey, uh... Maybe it's that dial. There are constellations inscribed all over it. Let's try and turn it three times. I think you're right. And that crescent-shaped thing over there. How do we make it meet its second half? Is there even a second half? Look, isn't it half this? Over there on the opposite side. We could push them to make them meet. I think. Okay. Yes, it worked. Good job, friends. We're almost there. We only have to find that Choco Major now. Oh no, we're out of time. I have no idea what to do. Eureka! There! Eureka. Point the biggest hand at that star, Gingerbread. All right, I can do that. Yes, yes, we did it! The clock is glowing! Moonlight Cookie and the City of Wizards is waking up. It's like the universe meeting a new mm -hmm. dawn. Look at his eyes. He's crying. It's a full moon. Moonlight Cookie, it's us. Ginger Braid. Strawberry Cookie. Wizard Cookie, at last we meet. You helped me cross the vast realm of dreams. Even in my slumbers, I knew you would come find me. On behalf of all the wizards, I, Moonlight Cookie, thank you. It's a great honor to meet He's actually you. crying. Thank you for inviting us here. Y yes, I'm happy to meet you too. No, it's us who are thankful. We saw so many amazing things on our way here. Mm -hmm. My friends, it would have been an immense pleasure for me to show you this city, my home. But the moon has hidden behind a cloud, and the stars send us an anxious warning. It may so happen that time is against us. What are you saying? I have seen it in my dreams. A vision not of our past, but of our future. And we will meet the next cookie very soon. The vision of a star falling. Oh, there the it sky. is. That's just a shooting star. To make a wish. Wait, is it about to fall right here? Yes. The city of wizards is in great danger. And though my powers will be enough to stop it, I cannot help but feel like something is amiss. Moonlight Cookie, 
Did you call us here because you knew it would happen? I only saw a glimpse. A premonition of a coming calamity. Terrible, yet faintly familiar. I don't understand. And here it is. Wizards. In my imagination, it looked different. And the wizards, they are not to be seen. seen. You, the cookie who descended with a rain of falling stars. The wizards who created me left eons ago. I am the lone custodian of this abandoned city. Did you come in search of the wizards? What is your name? They call me Stardust Cookie. Stardust. I was born from the coalesced light of thousands of nameless stars and the very breath of the cosmos. At first, I thought that my birth was a mere coincidence. And the stars whispered to me. They told me that the matter of my dough came from here. From here? Stardust Cookie! Please stop the stars from raining down on us! Don't destroy the city! These stars do not follow my will. They merely follow me to their birthplace. What? <laughs> yeah, I really hope that cookie is playable. I hope, um, you know, they do release him as a super epic. Create him too? Oh. Blueberry Pie Cookie tried to warn us. The wizards must have discarded the dough of nameless stars in their attempt to create Moonlight Cookie from the purest moonlight. It was Stardust Cookie. Mm -hmm. I understand now. For them, I was an impurity, a loose unknown in their equation. They banished my dough into space, and there, instinctively, it swam towards the sheltering starlight. So long ago, I barely recall. I had already changed by the time I reached the Sugar Swan constellation. I gained awareness of my cookie nature. With time, wandering stardust completed my shape, and the suns heated my frozen, lifeless dough. I sensed it through my dreams. I watched how your features grew tangible with time. I traveled across the dreams of countless cookies and wizards. Yet I've never seen anything quite like yourself. The enigma that you were haunted me. It made me feel as if my knowledge was a lie. But now I see it clearly. I am this city. We both had an unseen dark side. May I ask? Why did you bring the stars with you to fall upon this place? It seems that we belong together. You may refuse to show it, but I can sense your struggle. The fear and hatred you harbor towards me. Why? I did not even know of your existence. And these stars are playthings unwanted, thrown away by the wizards. In the vast cosmos. Oh, no, here we go. Aimlessly. There's the angry form, angry form. To return to their birthplaces, embrace. It is my time to return. Heed my words, wizards, for you have wronged us all. Like a calm shore that turns into a mighty tide, you came to wash away this city, unforeseen by even the wisest. Yes, even the wizards' knowledge had its limits. Please understand. Their fascination with the night sky was pure. Their passion for knowledge had no ill intentions. And still, we stand as an example of their cruelty. Forsaken and discarded by our own creators. Like this city. Mm -hmm. Like yourself. In whom they took such pride. Ah. No more. Your words hurt like the terror of nightmares. Moonlight Cookie, don't give in. Don't forget how strong you are. My heart is yearning. 
yearning to meet them, to ask a question, even for but a brief moment. I trust them. Therefore, I must protect this city to keep custody of their seat of power until the day of their return. Would they ever return, though? This city I... dream, dream of victory. Do you wish to fight? Knowing that space itself is immeasurably greater than you. And with this, the full might of the countless bright stars. What should we do? The city's defenses are getting weaker. Even the lights are flickering. And the golden stars look all confused. Because of Stardust Cookie, Moonlight Cookie's dream is getting unstable. I don't think we can help it. He will destroy the city. We need to escape now. No, we can't let that happen. We must protect mm -hmm. Moonlight Cookie. What about the archives? I'm worried about Blueberry Pie Cookie. Where sugar sugar glass literally came out that one little scene and that's it. Please hold on a bit longer. We must help Blueberry Pie Cookie. Be careful, Ginger Brave. What are you doing? You're supposed to protect the library. Revive Doomstar X1. Danger alert. Danger alert. Unidentified powerful cookie. Identifying another moonlight cookie. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. And the final boss. Fury Star's Wrath. Alright, let's see. Stardust Cookie becomes immune to all debuffs and increases the wariness level of enemies who attack him. Starts the battle with the hit shield. He has damage, raising the cookies uh, or the target's wariness power. Projectiles pierce their targets, become invulnerable for a given uh, period of time. Gains uh, increased attack speed, deals damage, and cause burn to all. Targets deal damage to all targets proportional to the max HP as a true damage and causes corruption. All right, we are going to put in uh, this thing. And there is a hit shield. So uh, I am just... I'm just putting cotton. Oh, wait, no, we don't need cotton. Let's put it Milky Way. Here we go, final boss time. No. You are the greatest of the wizard stars. Please stop your doomward march. The star too must be sad to see its home destroyed. I I feel conflicted. The star should welcome our return, yet it is in dismay. Is there really no place for us here? Start us, Cookie. It's time to stop. We understand you're angry and all, but there's no need to destroy the entire city. If you continue, you will harm Moonlight Cookie. Yes. This sight pains me too. He's just sad. Stardust Cookie is sad. I shall wipe this city clean, erasing all remaining memories of its denizens. Yes. Finally, you understand. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Do you even hear yourself? Everything is filled with sorrow. The lonely cries of the stars and moonlight cookies unseen tears. Huh. A custodian watching over an empty city. How many years have you spent in solitude? Can you even count those timeless years? The wizards are nowhere to be seen and they will never be seen again. I shall bring this all to ruins. All to set you free. Oh, there we go. I shall spare no strength. 
You don't understand. Moonlight Cookie loves this place. As a wizard myself, I'll fight to protect this place. Let's go, my friends. Okay, there we go. Definitely looks really cool. Wow, that damage. I will not falter. I will not falter. We won. Moonlight Cookie, are you all right? The city of wizards. Their cherished city lies in ruins. Such strength. Enough! It's over. Stop burning yourself out. Stardust Cookie, you're hurt. You've nearly destroyed the city and yourself too. <coughs> Pain. Is that what it's called? That I am the embodiment of sorrow. For it is all I know. Mm -hmm. Sorrow and the cosmic void. Is to return to dust. That is how the stars go. It better not die. If it dies here, the star gives a warning. Uh oh. Then uh, I don't know how they're gonna return it to the. place. When a lone star's lifetime reaches its end, nothing can survive a supernova. Lifetime? What are you saying? When the loneliness becomes unbearable. The star begins to shrink and shrivel. It calls to other stars to no avail, and in the end, it turns into an all consuming void. Other stars call it the Dark Vortex. Dark Vortex? I cannot let it happen. There is always a way. Even the darkest night is illuminated by the starlight. Oh, there's there it is. The golden sphere cracked. It has begun. What's going on? That black thing in the air. Oh, oh no 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 no! I'm getting I'm getting sucked in. I lost the memory flower. Uh oh. Sugar glass. Can still fly away, escape this place, or should I finally give up? Perhaps my lifelong journey should end here. My birthplace is no more, and there is nowhere to return nor go. All this is no different from the cold void of space. Yes, the time has come. What a beautiful night. Okay. Where's the... Oh, there it is. Warm. I am awake. I feel no burning fire. Is it the Sugar Swan constellation? How? Lady Moonlight Cookie once said, In this city, dreams know no limits. Blueberry Pie. Before the very end, you fell asleep. And now you are dreaming of the moment your life began. For the end and the beginning always go hand in hand. Ooh. Who are you? I am a creation of the wizards, just like yourself. Blueberry Pie Cookie, the caretaker of the archives. I am the last of the librarians, and it is my duty to guide you to a book that has been awaiting you. 
This book is called A Wizard's Journal. On its pages, you will find the records of your creation. I wish you a pleasant reading. A journal of my creator? I do not wish to know. Hmm. For a full lunar cycle, we have been working hard to collect moonlight at the tallest observatory. It still radiates with magic. The cookie to be born from it will become a legend. After a thorough magiscope examination, mm -hmm. we managed to identify a minute fraction of nameless starlight resting quietly within the dome. How is this possible? I've come to the conclusion that these nameless stars manage to hide between the phases of the waning and waxing crescents. What a cruel yet deserved joke from our beloved night sky. Countless stars. Countless stars shine in the darkness of a moonless night. This will grant our moonlight cookie immense yet unstable powers. No one must know of this error. What should I do? Perhaps ah. I should leave this tiny speck to the judgment of the arch wizards. Or perhaps I should return it to the cosmic depths. Where possibility and chance will shape it into something wonderful. That's something the creation the of itself. Stardust. Possibility. Chance. Beautifully said. Beyond my creator's imagination. Up! Phew! He woke up! Stardust Cookie, are you alright? So it was just all a dream. Stardust Cookie. Another dream? What a strange place. What happened to me? My powers allow me to travel between dreams. The wizards used to call this phenomenon the cosmic tunnel. Not all of it, yes, state. not all of it. <laughs> you can enter one dream and come out of another. I think you you fell asleep and entered Moonlight Cookie's dream. <laughs> At least my explanation was scientific. One way or another, you saved me. Me. Who wrought this upon your city? Each dream holds its own truth. I dreamed of this city that forgot about the catastrophe it created. And perhaps too late, I understood. A frightful premonition imprinted on my dreams. It was meant for me, who could not see the dark side of the moon. For me, the dark side of the moon. Catastrophic was not your arrival, but my refusal to see the truth. And still, it pains me greatly to see the city ruined. What is now left for us? Abandoned and forlorn. Oh, right. The memory flower. Where is it? Sugarglass Cookie's message. We, we, we it got sucked in, it. man. Hmm? Sugarglass Cookie? I, I'm so sorry. I think I lost the memory flower. Oh, are you sure? What, what do we do, Wizard Cookie? Are you speaking of this? Oh, how do you have I it, bro? It's faint yet mesmerizing glimpse back in the void of the dark vortex. Take it. It is your. No, no. Th this message is meant for you, both of you. For Moonlight Cookie and me. Again, the same thing. If you touch this memory, it means it means that you have found my flower. I must leave this place. Yet, when the other cookie arrives, I'd like you to know that I have waited for so long. That you are not alone. How I wish to meet you face to face. But the outside world beckons me. It's all thanks to Amber Sugar Cookie and our friends. Hey, there's another hit. Maybe Amber Sugar will come out too. Do you know... Do you know why the wizards made us like this? This thought did not make room for others in my mind for so long. But then I met new friends, new memories, and it all became clear. 
so many flowers bloom in my greenhouse. And every one of them is beautiful, precious in its own way. What if for someone, we too... May I leave one very special flower here for you? <laughs> it has my first memory of seeing the sunlight. <laughs> this precious flower will remain here until you find it. Sugar glass cookie, I'm leaving without you. Just a moment. Goodbye, my friends. I hope to meet you in the outside world. And so much more story. Oh my gosh. How could I forget? How could I forget how precious all the stars were to me? Even though someone else's eye might not see the difference. And the moonlight illuminates these streets with such warm light. I did not know I had a friend here. In the end, my arrival was not in vain. Drifting in the emptiness of space, it is so easy to feel loneliness. Ages may pass, but eventually starlight reaches everywhere. Every one of us. I am the living proof. Yes. I had forgotten too, for I was lonely for so long. I did not realize that we belonged together. Will you ever forgive me for the destruction of this city? And if you are willing, I would love to visit Sugar Glass Cookie's greenhouse together. I forgive you, Stardust Cookie, for I am also so, so sorry that you had to spend an eternity alone. Huh? They're holding hands. And there's light coming from them. It's so bright. Is this a dream revived? The stars and the moonlight are together once again. It's the birth of a new power. A new power. Oh, what the? What the? speaks to me just like the moon sets and rises again who is this this is moonlight found among the ashes city of wizards is coming back to life how oh, beautiful moonlight cookie that is amazing! How can all this be possible? I oh, it is Moonlight, bro! The whole city was my dream. This has to be a costume. There's more story? Yeah, it definitely never-ending story. Holy. I guess I should have asked this earlier, but... What's your dream, Stardust Cookie? My dream? Voyaging across space, really. Perhaps I will find the wizards who created me among the countless stars. Among the countless stars? I, I can't wrap my head around that. You amaze me, Stardust Cookie. No. You He's crying again. are my star. <laughs> Thank you. I am happy to have found you. Cookies of free will. Will we ever meet again? I do not know. But I will cherish this memory forever in my heart. Choo -choo. Hey, Milky Way! Is departing. Get on if you want. Yes. How fortunate. This time I shall travel toward the rising moon. What lies at the end of the western sky, Conductor? Um, well, they call it the Cosmic Tide Land. You know, tiny galaxies jumping around and dancing to and fro. If you're a first-timer, I recommend the Whipped Cream Galaxy. Cross the Whipped Cream Sea on a fallen leaf boat to enter another world. Or something like that. And it sounds like a plan. Stay safe, cookies. 
I will let you know if I ever find the wizards. The train's departing! All aboard! A cookie didn't even hesitate a second. Maybe Stardust Cookie was born to travel space. Or maybe he wandered for so long, meeting us felt no longer than a moment. Safe travel, Stardust Cookie. I'll think of you whenever I look at the stars. Definitely seems like he's going to be playable. Oh my, there's more. Whoa, so much happened. <laughs> We can talk. I know of the message you brought me, Cookies. I felt the ripples in my dream. Winds of change have blown our way. I have also seen Cookies all around the world gathering forces. Yes, that's right. Thing is, we need your help to fight Dark Enchantress, Cookie. We've seen how powerful you are today. Moonlight cookie? My guess is that she is not gonna go though. But we'll need to find other legendary cookies too. I understand. Oh no, she is gonna go. Okay, never mind. Never mind. The stars above the continent of Beast East have turned crimson. I have yet to witness the dreams of Dark Enchantress Cookie, but I will not let any harm come your way. Have no fear. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Moonlight Cookie. Moonlight Cookie, are you going to return to the world of dreams? Yes. I've used much of my strength to restore the city. Now, the dreams are beckoning me. My friends, you'll always be welcome in this city. When in need of help, call me from your dreams. Bye, Moonlight Cookie. I'll see you in my dreams. Ah, so she's just, she's not going to travel with them just when they are going to fight. I thought how cool the wizards were. But after meeting Stardust Cookie, I don't know what to think. We escaped from the wish because we didn't want to be eaten, right? And now we live happily, freely, however we want. Yes, we're going back to the original lore. We escaped from the witch because we didn't want to be eaten. Yes, that's how the whole story began. And, you know, they were trying to follow a cake hound with the crown. Well, yeah. It also got me thinking. For someone looking down on us from the stars, we are nothing but dust, even smaller than dust. Everything in this city was so tall and big. It reminded me of the witch's hut. But the sky was too far and wide, even for the human wizards. It had to be. So when I look at it now, I forget that I'm just a tiny cookie wizard. And... If only for a brief moment, I feel like I belong in this city. Maybe that's why the cookies born here felt so close to the humans who created them. Here's what I think. No, I don't think Wizards they gonna leave. so hard to understand each other, right? Maybe that's why they both fell in love with the night sky. That's beautifully poetic. Yes, we're done with the story. Oh, it took too long. Too much, too much listening, too much reading, too much to understand. But in the end, they have Moonlight Cookie's uh, power that they are able to ask for. So, there we go. Episode 16 done.